Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. Here's an update what's going on with Yellowstone. Um, giantness, I believe, went off again this morning. And the steam, the moisture coming up from the geyser is a little dark today. Um, there was an earthquake that USGS, yeah, says was a magnitude 1.5, but I think it was greater. Here is a spectrogram of that earthquake. You can see it here at Little West Thumb or um, West Thumb. And this one here is at Lake Butte. It actually looks like it came in stronger at Lake Butte. And I'll show you the signature. And we'll go to USGS. They have the location at the northern end of West Thumb. Now remember, this is an ancient caldera that erupted, what, 70,000 years ago that created the extension of Yellowstone Lake. Automatic by the computer at Little Thumb or West Thumb, it came in as a 1.98. At Mary Lake, it came in as a 1.39. And at um, Grant, it came in as a 1.07. They decided on a 1.5. No one reported feeling this earthquake. Um, this area is limited to people over there because it's rutting season for the elk. And uh, bears are getting ready to go into hibernation. And cell phone service there at the park is also limited. But generally, unless it's a magnitude 2.5 or greater, people don't feel the earthquakes. There was another very small earthquake afterwards at 1353 um, that they are not reporting. Over here at Lake Butte, you can see we got three definitive, definite lines of melt. And between, oops, let me go back to this. And then between the two, we have larger pockets of melt, which is melted lava, but it's called melt when it's still under the ground. And remember, I did a report how there is pockets of melt only 600 feet under the ground where people are currently walking. Now, the time that's being shown over here on the left, that's mountain time. So, we got um, another earthquake or a series of earthquakes that USGS is not reporting um, at 43 minutes after midnight I'll, we'll look at the signature there we go yeah the activity there yeah it's continuing it's been going on for um, a while now and remember when they're marked in red means the computer picked it up and these are at two different monitors same as this one over here and it's a signal that's sent to the geologists that are supposed to report and find their findings about these earthquakes. So here we have at 1910 universal time, um, I suppose uh, 1410 mountain time, we got another earthquake that they're not reporting. We'll look at the signature. Then at about oh, 1405, we got another set of earthquakes that are marked in red. We got one two, three, and some little blips. I'll pull this over. Oh, wrong line. Sorry about that. Okay, and let's look at the spectrogram. Yeah, hot gases came up. It doesn't really show up here on the other monitor for Lake Butte, but West Thumb it does. And then at 2350, we got some more earthquakes that they are not reporting. They reported the earthquakes that occurred in Utah, but these are not Utah. And I'll go here and show you what it looked like. Yeah, see how uh, Lake Butte seems to be a little bit hotter and darker? We'll go back to this. All right, at 224, we got another earthquake and it has a P wave. Um, the P wave is the first signature of an earthquake that comes in that's often i got a cat walking on my keyboard hold on there is a p wave on this earthquake uh, the p wave is the first signature 
of an earthquake that comes in. Um, that's usually the sound of the earthquake you hear before the rattling. And that's at 224. That one, too, I don't see being reported by USGS. Yeah. And there's probably three earthquakes through here uh, when I pulled the file. Uh, we got 13 or 1436. Let me pull this over a little bit. All you see over here, oops, I'm sorry. All you see here is the uh, hot gases that came up. And more likely the signature is probably very small right there. USGS is only reporting one earthquake so far today. And that's that magnitude uh, 0 0.7, 3.7 kilometers in depth. So that would be about 2.3 miles. And it was in the middle of Shoshun Lake, which isn't far from West Thumb. I figured it was a 1.7. I'll show you. Actually, actually my dyslexic got it transferred. Um, 1.17, because that's what it came in at West Thumb. Uh, Denny Creek as a 0.89. Old Faithful a 0.63. Purple Mountain a 0.83. And Moose Creek, Idaho. Yeah, that's a long ways from there. Um, a minus 0 0.4, but they decided on a 0 0.7. But both of the monitors that were close to this location came in much higher. 1.17, 1.89. There, I fixed it. Yeah, being dyslexic, yeah, I do that a lot. So that's the only earthquake they are reporting today, even though we can see here that there's been a lot more. You can just you know, match up just the ones in red. You know, we got another one there. Uh, where's that one at? Right there. Let's take a look at it. Nope, oh, wrong line. There you go. Anybody that thinks that the government's going to come in and rescue them in a timely manner after a disaster, um, yeah, unless you been through a disaster you know that they will not you're basically on your own so that's all i have for you right now if any thoughts or comments or questions please put it down below thank you for watching thank you for your support i am on twitter um listed as lucky underline finds f-i-n-d-s i'm also on patreon if you want to follow me and help support my work on patreon um thank you again for watching have a great week and I'll talk to you later. God bless y'all. Bye.